All right, we're uh, back working on this 2013 Kia Soul now. In the last video I made on this, we replaced the door here and this fender that was messed up. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, getting our new bumper and get our fender painted. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this fender off here, and we're going to work on prepping it. And I've got my new bumper in the garage okay so here's my setup nothing fancy i've got a couple of stools we just need to have it up to where we can paint all the way around and get all of these edges in one motion or at one time so just a couple stools the fender we just got it setting up here kind of on some blocks uh, just so i can get all the way around these edges just want to pay attention to those so um, let's go over what we're going to be using here. Okay, so here's what we're using. And I just want to say, you know, I'm not a painter. I have painted uh, many things and fixed things. But, you know, the goal is we're not trying to make a show car. We're just trying to fix some damage here. So this is what um, I'm going to be using. It's a base coat. I ordered this pre-mixed in a can. You can go and get it mixed yourself. you got a sprayer and a good compressor to use but this is the, uh, the paint this a1w i'm going to show you where you can find that paint code it's actually scratched off on that car <clears throat> now this is the type of clear coat you want to get it's a little bit more expensive but it is a two-part uh, more like an epoxy you um, it has a button that uh, puts the hardener in there so we'll put this cap on there and we'll use that but you know it goes without saying you have to use every bit of this can if you leave any it's not going to be any good but it, you're going to get a more durable finish with the 2k so we got our clear we got our base coat now as far as the bumper we're going to be using this 3m scotch gray scotch bright uh, it's already primed so we don't need to scuff it up that much and uh, sometimes you can get away i've done it without even scuffing them now for the uh, fender over here we do have clear coat on it so we're going to have to uh, scuff up that clear coat so our um, base coat can adhere so we've got some 400 grit sandpaper we're going to use on that so if you come in your driver's door if uh, it's not like on the car over there and scratched off you're going to look right in here and try to find your paint and you can see that AE3, that is the code on this particular car. So that's where you're going to look for that. Right, so nothing fancy. We're just going to take this and go around all the surface. And then I'm going to wipe it up with alcohol. But we're going to make sure that we hit every bit of the surface that we're going to be painting with this. Okay, we've got our bumper all scuffed up, so let's move on to the fender. Alright, so we've got our uh, 400 grits, wet or dry sandpaper. So we're just going to scuff this clear coat up, and then when we go to put our base coat, it will adhere really well. You don't want to just get carried away with it take off too much but we're going to just do that so
Now this is not going to fix any defects if you have any. When you paint it, they will shine. So you want to try to get yourself a pretty good fender. So you can see how quickly this goes. I mean, you can, it's really not that time consuming. So you just have to kind of watch your edges because it will take a lot off of there quick. So we've pretty much, we got this whole thing scuffed up already we just need to go back and fine tune some of the edges here okay so shouldn't have any shiny surfaces left on here now we're going to take a rag and we'll take some alcohol and we're going to wipe the whole entire surface down and we'll probably need to go over this a few times so make sure that there's it's absolutely clean and free of any dust. So after going over it once, I'll get me a, another clean rag and we'll go over it again just to make absolutely sure that it's clean. Alright, so we've got our surfaces scuffed up, got everything wiped down a couple of times, looking good. We've got everything kind of set up to where we're going to be able to get to everything without any issues because we can't be moving it around once we start painting it. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of this, you know, this is going to be covered by molding, so I don't really care how much paint I get on this. This is not going to be seen. It's mainly going to be this surface. I said these have trim molding, so I don't need to waste a lot of paint on those areas. I can overspray them, but it doesn't really need to be painted. Right, we want to. All right, so we're ready to start shaking this up. And we'll want to test it in an area that um, is not going to be important to see how it looks. Um, I waited until uh, I had a good warm day. It's, it's over 70 degrees today, so this would be a good day, a good dry day. Right, so it says to shake this for a, a good minute after it starts moving in here, but I'll probably shake it a little bit longer than that. Okay, so good idea to have yourself a paint mask, or at the very least, uh, you want to be in a very well ventilated open area, but some kind of mask.
So I'm not trying to cover it all in one coat, um, and we're going to let it let it set for uh, probably 10-15 minutes. Uh, one thing I realize I am going to have to get another can. I kind of was hoping that I could do this with one, but there's no way. So um, I think I'm going to focus on just the bumper. Like I'm already at half a can, and I've only went around this once, so I will have to get another can. Okay, well, um, I think I remember why I quit using these rattle cans. There's not enough paint in this. Seems like the last bumper I painted, a full can was enough to at least do the bumper. And I was just hoping that it, since I wasn't doing the whole thing, that I'd have enough. But no, this um, is barely, barely covered it. And I've used a full can on this. So I think we're, we're just going to have to get the... Um, I want to break my sprayer, spray gun out and do this because uh, it's going to just take too much with these uh, rattle cans. I mean, it looks good from what I can see. Um, it looks good, but just not enough paint and I couldn't even get started on the fender. So I'm gonna, probably going to have to get a quart and actually spray it on here and go from there. Okay, so I wound up getting a pint of this base coat and uh, went over these again and they actually matched the color a little bit better. I've got a little piece that I cut out of the um, bumper that I use. I don't have it out here, but they actually did a color match on it and tested it. So this is looking way better than the, the original can for sure. And I just got me a uh, Harbor Freight spray gun. I'll show you here. So this is what I'm using. It's got the built-in regulator. And this has been working pretty good so far. So anyways, I got a couple of more uh, base coats down here. And uh, I'm going to wait about 45 minutes and we're going to get some clear coat on this. I'm gonna, that'll give me time to clean the gun out and everything, but I've just kind of went over it, made sure I've got all the edges and stuff. Okay, so this is the clear coat. I was going to use, like I said, the rattle cam, but I knew after the base coat it wasn't going to be enough, so I just went ahead and got a uh, quart and with the hardener, and this is going to get mixed four to one, and we just, we've got it already marked here we're going to fill it right here and then we'll fill the hardener up to there it's got these little handy cups now if i would have just went this mess method the first time uh, i would have had plenty and it would have been even less expensive but regardless we're going to um letting this uh, set up for 45 minutes to an hour and i'm going to go ahead and get the clear coat on here but it's looking pretty good so far and you got to run your paint and your um, clear through these filters too as you're pouring everything up, everything through filters. So this one, I'm uh, running this at like 30 PSI. It's slightly over 30. So when I pull the trigger, I've got, I've got it running right about there. 
and uh, seems to be working out pretty good. Now the clear coat is where you're going to have your problems. Um, if you uh, lay it on too thick, it's going to start running on you. So you have to be kind of cautious with the clear coat. The base is no problem. But once you get to the clear, you got to kind of take your time and try to put it on there light and then put you another coat. And three, if you want it to be really good, you know, I think I'm going to try to get about three coats on here. But you got to start being cautious. And uh, in between coats, like with a base, we'll let it let it set for about 15 minutes before we move on to the next coat anyway. Okay, we're uh, back out here today. Finally got all the pieces that I need for this. And uh, it's actually been a couple weeks <clears throat> since painting this because tracking all these little parts and pieces down was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But, um, it, you know, when you see one of these used bumpers, for sale you understand why they want a thousand dollars for one because there's just so many pieces it's not just this you got um, you know upper grill lower grill you got this molding piece you got these little eyebrow pieces and then you either, you know if you got fog lights and those are broken you're gonna need those and then the mounts for those so um, we're gonna go ahead I think and just go ahead and get the bumper put together here and uh, then we'll get the fender on next but this is all looking pretty good and so all this stuff is pretty much uh the oem kia stuff so all i could find so hopefully this is going to look nice so this uh snaps in but it also has um screws and pieces that go in here and we're going to have to remove those from the other bumper over there and like this little cover piece we'll need to get that Alright, so we got that snapped in all the way around, no big deal. We'll flip it over and get the screws in. and get our lower grill So these clip in and they also have quite a few screws holding them in. I still got a few more up here. Hopefully I can find enough of these. Okay, got all the screws and these pieces and next thing we're going to do is get these little eyebrow pieces on and these have like three screws that hold them from the back side after they slip on here all right so this is looking good we got all this fastened together now this is this little piece that covers this we need to put this back in here we're going to snap this back in and we've got a couple of screws this thing really locks in here tight 
I almost didn't think I was going to get this out without messing it up. We're going to flip it over, get the, the two screws. got our bumper retainer got a new this is going to lock in and we got one screw all right so we're just going to get this fender back on and uh, you've seen how I put it on last time we do have to get this wire connected to our light it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get it all bolted down. All right, the fender is on. I did have to take that plastic piece back off because I did it in the wrong order. Getting ready to set the bumper on. So I got the top 10 millimeters in. It's got to snap in our areas that are lights. Bend that down slightly. All right, so here we have it all back together, and you remember how it started out, and uh, compared to then, it's looking really good. Said it was wrecked on this side. I'm sure it's never going to be perfect, but this uh, bumper sure looks a lot better. It's just crazy how many pieces there are on a bumper. So then a little dent in the hood. Not too bad. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. It's been kind of a time consuming process getting all the pieces, painting it wasn't too bad. Uh, initially, I just didn't have enough paint and it was a dark bumper and it was just absorbent so I had to uh, get a pint of paint to finish that out but real happy with the way it looks right now so this is a brand new bumper so it really looks amazing up here in the front now so anyways I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up as always I invite you to subscribe and thank you for watching